Today is a good day. Stone Valley 22 is out now for all platforms. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's DJ. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 22. Today, we got 26 mods for all platforms. We have 12 new and 8 updates and for PC and Mac players. We got 3 new and 3 updates. I make mod review videos every time they're released on the end game mod hub, so get subscribed if you're new. That way, you never miss any. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, you know we had to do it. Stone Valley 22 from Lancy Boy. It is back. The map is based in Illinois here in the United United States and it was owned by one farmer but unfortunately due to the demand of farming the owner of the farm has decided it was too much for him and so he's left all of his equipment in the fields and has decided to just get up and leave so now you have to start off in Stone Valley Farm there's this combine harvester uh, and finish what he started and you will have to finish combining and cultivating and also seeding the canola and getting Stone Valley Farm back up and running so are you up to the challenge? All fields and uh, waterways are in real life, but some areas are fictional. You got two custom crops that have been added. You have clover and alfalfa. They do say that uh, dry lucerne windrow can be given to the cows. New farmer, farm manager, start from scratch have been added. Oxygen David's custom lighting, all new redesigned farm models made by Lancy Boy him. Cell platitude coordinates match up with the same as Illinois, and AI helper menu has been added. You've also got compost, which has been added to productions, which will be uh, added to a later date, he says. So I apologize, that will be added at a later date. Um, waterways do flood, so do be careful. Some areas down and around. You've also got other things like 31 fields. You have two placeables, nine selling points, two production area lands, which have to be purchased first. Uh, seasons, visuals, collectibles, Illinois license plates that have been built into the map and the land must be purchased before the animals can be used so there you go you hyped you excited look at that <laughs> he just drove straight through the field like you know forget this i'm out of here man there's a lot to it here is your pda and it is a big old map now it's a standard 2x by 2x so this is good for all platforms uh and you can see what you start off with now if we select the outside of the area, you can see the zero dollars that all that's been done correctly. And we have two fields that we start with field number six and field number two. So as you can see way, way down here, we've got our guy planting canola, but that's a tiny little cedar is going to be doing that whole field. And then you've got your harvester over here as well. Uh, if we pop around into a few things. You see, we've got our tipper in there, right there. Uh, the cedar has got some seed that has been used. We've got a cultivator running. The harvester's got some stuff in here as well. And well, your truck is over here by the main farm with the pep dog. Speaking of that main farm, we'll give it a little bit of a uh, 360 right here. Now, hopefully I'll be able to do some more stuff with this map in a later date, uh, maybe over the weekend or something like that. But until now, uh, this is about all we've got at least here. I did do a video on this early, so check it out if you haven't already speaking of checking it out we should check out what we get in new farmer mode so we have the john deere 4755 we have the 7810 the massey ferguson 3670 oh yeah so three medium tractors start off with we get the doids far top liner 4090 we do get the older style pickup truck we get the velger trailer we have the header and we've got a cultivator cedar header trailer and a weight so there you go. Now, what does it take in um, console? So there's gonna be 1,003 slots, which is not that much compared to things, uh, other maps and things like that. Delete some of the placeables, delete some of the equipment. Well, it's gonna go down even more. This is a really cool map. I know you guys have been waiting for it and guess what? It's here. It's finally here. Next up, new for all platforms from Blue Hog and Modding, we have his Case H Luxem series. So this is a very small, newer style Case H tractor. It has 99 horsepower to start with, variable transmission, 150 liters of fuel, 24 mile per hour max speed, so low on the slow side, and 4.3 tons. It is 13 slots on console, so do be aware of that. As far as wheel brands, we've got Trellborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Bridestone and Nokia tires. Of course, we have all kinds of different ones for each of those. Beacon lights include left, both, 
or nada. Attachers, we have the front weight or a front three point. That is nice to see. Front loader, we have the quickie and the Hauer. Engines, we have a 99 horsepower and 107, 117. So three different engines there. Main colors, you have standard, you have the chrome red, we have black, and we have gray. So that is very cool to see all those. And then rim colors, we have standard, black, white, and silver so you can change those up if you want to as well very cool tractor here's a neat mod the case titan floater pack yeah does this look familiar should look kind of familiar to you guys so in here we've got a couple different vehicles and then we've got different bits to it so the first one is the titan 3000 floater this is a trike 340 horsepower variable transmission 570 liters field 29 miles an hour max speed so kind of right there smack dab in the middle weighs 12.1 tons it's also going to be 13 slots we do have trollborg michelin midas friedstein continental and back in again doesn't look like we could change any of those numbers one through nine so that is nice to see fenders yes or no and then the engine we have 340 410 back and forth between those we also have a main color uh so quite a few options there very very neat then we have a four wheel version this should look even more familiar to you guys 340 horsepower variable transmission okay so this is basically exactly the same just a uh yep so this looks to be the same if not exactly the same with the exception of the four versus three wheel thing so that's kind of cool and this one is going to be 13 slots as well then we have the air boom now this is for doing um solid fertilizer lime uh it says seeds as well so you know there's there's that i'm not quite sure about the whole air boom uh quite thing um yep I'm really not quite sure what this does. Uh, does it say anything at the top? Fertilizer spreader improves stuff. So maybe this is, um, maybe it can throw seeds on the ground, something like that. We'll do some more tests with it later on. So 15,000 liter capacity on here, three tons, 18 meter spread at 18 miles per hour. So it is a quick boy as well. And it's got a four slot requirement. Then we have the liquid system. Of course, this one's a little bit easier to understand. It's a Liquid fertilizer and herbicide spreader holds 7,571 liters, three tons, 28 meters at 15 miles per hour. And then lastly, oh yeah, and that's going to be uh, five slots as well. This is the L4000 G4. Solid fertilizer and lime spreader, 14,000 liter capacity, 1.8 tons, 28 meters at 18 miles per hour. Is everything 28 meters? Except for the small one, that's 18. So here we've got an extension you could throw on, which will go up to 18,000. We can put a cover on, but only on the small one. And we've got a main color of, well, all the ones that you saw before. It's a really neat pack. And if you guys have been looking for something really, really unique, well, here it is. Next up, we have the Zader URI 5 and 6. So uh, right here, here they are. Now, the interesting thing is I don't know the 5, 6 thing. Because uh, these don't have fives or sixes in them. They definitely don't have sixes in them. Nonetheless, uh, let's take a look. We have three tractors. We have a two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and then what looks to be a little bit wider version of a uh, four-wheel drive. Very neat. 72 horsepower, manual transmission, 70 liters of fuel. It's got a 15 mile per hour max speed, so it's a little slower, but I think you would expect that. As far as wheels go, we have lizard tires on here. We also have BKT and back and forth between those. Those look to be only changing up on the rear, something like that. We do have a little bit wider version in the front if you want that. As far as your design, we have standard air pre cleaner. We have a uh, elevated one so back and forth between those that's kind of neat we also have a configuration for weights or a front three point we also have an extra frame that could be added to that 72 77 horsepower options main color i have no idea what that's changing oh it is changing the main color it's changed between black and the blackest of greens you've ever seen and then we've got different colors for the roof we also have an extra design color for the hood and then uh well, rim colors are rim colors at the end of the day. It's going to be 14 slots for you guys. Next up, we have the 72, 77, 45. Now this, I assume we're going to see exactly the same things. Yes, uh, all the way through exactly the same engines, even, and even your color option. So that's the same there, 14 slots. Then we have the Horl system. Now I'm not quite sure what a Horl system is, but I can tell you that this, well, it looks kind of similar to the other one, except here we've got different wheels changing. So we have a few different options, at least what looked to be there. Uh, different options through there, different exhaust options. 
Front weights are the same, and then all your other colors look to be the same as well. It's going to be 14 slots. And lastly, we've got a weight for it. You can do a weight frame or the front hydraulics. That's going to be 700 kilograms regardless, and you can change up that color to match your frame. This one is going to be one slot. Continuing along with the red theme, we have the Komatsu Forwarder Pack from HR Forest. If you guys have been using their stuff, well, uh, these are going to match perfectly with all of those. We have three different vehicles here. We have the 855, the 875, and the Flex Bunk. So definitely check these out if this is something you're looking forward to. Customization options are virtually identical for each one. So uh, we'll probably just look at the Flex Bunk here. Uh, engines, we have a 251 horsepower engine in here. However, we can up that up a little bit to 360. And then the very first one that comes with the smallest engine possible between all of these. Now, we have the same wheel options for every single model. So every Alphosphor that you could think of, plus Nokian and Trelleborg. We got a couple different ones through there as well. Get you some grip on hood protection. Yep. Cabin protection. Yep. Rear warning markings. We've got those. The engines, as we mentioned. Uh, colors. <laughs> Only above. Uh, you can change up all kinds of stuff through here and get you a nice, brightly colored Komatsu forwarder. And there's three different models to choose from. Remember the smaller base game JCB from Farming Simulator 17? Well, we got it! <laughs> 3200 extra. Oh yeah, I love this tractor right here. Lot of memories using this on lots and lots of farms for hours on end. This has, uh, let's see, 195 horsepower, variable transmission, 390 liter of fuel capacity, so that's pretty good. 43 mile per hour max speed, that's great. Nine tons, and it's nine slots. Wheel brands include Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Midas, BKT, Rodstein, and Nucky and Tires. We do have duels in here, so everything that you would expect. Uh, I was hoping maybe we get some like wild tracks or something like that, but yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to be getting tracks on here. As far as uh, everything else, interior design, we have standard. We have gray, leather, and then back to standard again. Design includes an extension or not, so these are going to be different lights and beacon options on the top. Your engine is a 195 or a 230, so you can do that if you need to. And then main color, we've got standard, we've got white, or gray rather, neon green, black, and orange. Now, it would have been nice to see base game colors, but... Uh, I guess not here. The uh, rim colors, we've got a lot of gray, <laughs> black, and yellow, or JCB colors. And then you got your license plate. Not too bad. Next up from FSG Money, we have their Lizard Class C 450, 455, 460 low loader. We saw this in testing earlier today, and it's already been released. This weighs 9.5 tons, and it is seven slots. Now, we have a lot of things we can do with this. So first off, we start with a semi truck or semi truck dolly pulled semi deck basically then you could change that up to the straight hitch or a gooseneck which is really cool uh so any of those three options you're good to go side uh decks we have the split you've also got wood on there as well in the very back dovetail well you got wood or steel on there dovetail center we have steel or uh what is changing I don't, I'm, I'm not quite sure what this is changing. Um, ah, very, very back. That is on me. And then we've got uh, bits in the center. So this is kind of neat. You could make the entire thing wood as we have here, or maybe we do a, uh, so let's see, we'll do split here. We'll do steel on the back, steel, steel, steel. So you could pretty much change up the entire thing to steel if you really want to. We've also got mud flaps of plain and then logo. So you can throw the logos on there if you want to on the very, very back. Main color. Well, you've got all of these. So if you want to change it up to white, very, very good. Uh, if you want to do that metallic black, the color that it comes in. If you want something that matches most things in game, base game, I can go to Onyx. Whatever you're feeling. <laughs> <laughs> You're good to go. We can also change up the wood color on there as well. So if you don't like the dark wood, we well, can change it up. Uh, probably the whitewash would look really, really good on a nice uh, classic American farm. And then we have a uh, color for the plating as well. That's nice to see. And lastly, of course, your different rim colors. Now, we don't have base game gray on here, but choose light gray. 
That'll be close enough. There you go. That's it. There's a, like a thousand different ways to customize this trailer. From FSG modding, the Lizard Class 4 C454560. Get it. Next up, we have the self-made cultivator. Don't worry, it's not three meters. It's 2.4. Therefore, not a three meter cultivator. This weighs 375 kilograms. 40 horsepower is required. 2.4 meter working with at nine miles per hour. And... We've got uh, different things. So you can put the harrows on the back or not. And we can even change up that main color. We have the full older style color palette and uh, choose, I don't know, whatever you want. And then we also have the design on there as well, which is the other half of the model. This is going to be a total of three slots. Next up, the wood trailer. Yeah, so this is a very, very low customizable, but it does exactly what you want it to do. Trailer, very simple and probably really nice for doing like a survival role play or something like that. It's only 4,150 bucks, at least the way it starts. Uh, you can change up a few things, make it a little bit cheaper if you want to, take away 150 bucks. If you remove the hitch on the back, which allows you to pull multiple of these, we'll set up so we have standard and standard two and three. So you can change up the wheels, but they do get more expensive. And then we have all base game colors for the frame and all base game colors with some new additions to the uh, the rims. This this should be like the default rim bit right here. Modders, watch this. <laughs> you got chrome, silver, white, black, and then all base game colors. That's all I want, that's all I've ever wanted. Next up, we have the weight, 750 kg from Nico Do 55. This weighs, of course, 750 kilograms. You can make it a little bit heavier. You can go up to 1020, 1200, 1380, 1560 so all the way up through there designs you could do a little uh marker stick on the very front something like that main color is going to be the color of the main part and then you have the design color which changes up the front bit this is going to be three slots next to last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the chicken coop now this chicken coop um does not hold 1200 like the one that we got yesterday this holds 1500 there you go 1500 chickens right there Open this up, looking good, looking good. Um, I feel like we got a chicken coop that kind of looks like this or exactly like it or something very, very similar like a day or two ago. But nonetheless, uh, we still have this right here, right now, the chicken coop. 1,500 chickens, goodness gracious. Get you about five or six of these, you'll be set. And lastly, we have the small garage Matty J mods. This is just very, very simple. Small garage, enough room for maybe two small tractors, or maybe uh, you want to put two trucks in here. Good garage for placing out back somewhere, something like that. Nice and easy. All right, making our way into some mod updates for all platforms. We've got eight of them. The first is Fox Farms. This is going to be version 1.002. Mod description version's been increased. They've added soil mount for precision farming DLC. The cow pasture gate warning has been fixed, and the cow pasture milk has been fixed. We also have an update to Goldcrest Valley. However, this is the one that is a true representation from Puma 145 version 1.1, making placeables for the farmhouse and the straw barn. They've added two new production points, added a new train, changed the farm lens arrangement, Change the grass, fix the lime texture, and fix the visual bugs. The Rizu Forest map also has an update from JM Gaming version 1.2. The shops area has been modified. The sawmill access is modified. The increased sawmill capacity added our addition of a pond to draw water from. Added new textures and plants for landscaping mode. Removed the last floating trees. And it is now possible to remove some foliage from the ground. They do say that old backups are not fully compatible with this new version, so a new save game is recommended. Highly recommended. Maybe not required, but you should probably do it. As about an update to the Ponzi, Scorpion King from HR Forest is going to be version 101. Added change in band color grade. Co color grade? <laughs> color change. <laughs> Fix the chains and bands bug. Mass points reworked. Change the tires to regular width. Realism mods bug has been fixed. Sun visor replaced with the window tinting and sounds have been adjusted. Here's a nice update for you. The Fent Cargo Pack from Bayer Agrar. This is going to be version 1001. Added the AI attachment agent and updated mod description version to 66. From Yoss Modding, we've got the Dirtinator. Oh yeah, it's going to be version 1.0.2. Added the portable Dirtinator. So now there is a version that you could just 
buy and it adds it like a chainsaw and you can carry it around and make anything dirty that you want. Next to last update for all platforms today is the Placeable Storage Tanks Pack version 1.2. Added the liquid fertilizer and solid fertilizer tanks. New mod icon to compensate for the new objects in the pack, placeable adjustments, and texture improvements. And lastly, well, your last update for all platforms, this is going to be Bell and Vehicle Shelter version 1.1 from Razek. This is going to be mud, mid, today's been a day. Mod description version adapted, fix some bugs. Two small shelters been added. It's snow tarpaulin has been added. You know what? My only job really at the end of the day is just to read and I can't even do that today. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and making our way into some new mods for PC and Mac players. First one is the CML Deco Plow by Subsoiler. This bad boy right here weighs 1.7 tons. It's 150 horsepower required, 3 meters at 6 miles per hour. If you guys are using some mods that he released, I don't know, it was a couple weeks ago, maybe a month or two ago, he released this uh, the other Deco Plow pack. So these are already out. So if you want to use the same stuff on the same farm, hey, Got some stuff that matches now. From Fred Monning, we have his Agriman Utension Tool Pack. Say that 10 times fast with like something weird name in the middle, like the word like behemoth or something. Anyway, let's move on. Uh, this includes some different tools for different things. So uh, you've got this little bad boy right here. Uh, they say the tool could be used to transport all of your goods. I assume this is for a telehandler or a uh, wheel loader combination. Okay, telehandler. That makes it easy. At least they posted that. We've also got a bell loader for this. We've got a bucket, which will do um, your ground crops. <laughs> I don't know. You've also got a 5,000 liter bucket. Just a normal bucket. That's nice to see. And then we have some things to help out with your silage. We have some levelers. Quite a few of them, actually. A, a, a lot of levelers, including a three-point version as well. There's a lot of stuff with this pack. Hey, if you're interested, go check it out. And your last new one for PC and Mac players today is going to be the Game Saver from Fiber GTS 96. This auto saves without opening the menu, so while you play at the in-game set interval, never lose hours of work again with the power goes out or forgetting to save. Single player use only. All right, lastly today, making our way into some mod updates for PC and Mac players. First one is the Stroutman SDK 802 Pallet Auto Load version. 1.5 the auto loader configuration divider into normal so not loading too high and extreme loaded as before very high they've also got better weight and center settings next up we have the auto load stock trailer pack version 1.1 they've added the salic ans 1900 updated the description version Ver version version how many times have i done that adopted the xml adjustments from the base game from the dd 24073 the dpw 1800 the mhl 4320 and the pwo 24 and transport vargan also adjusted the unloading position and lastly an update to pro shot from madrid this is version 1.1 fixed an issue with reshade ao problem when entering the pause menu fix the issue where controls menu would stay hidden after taking a picture or pressing f1 if control menu was hidden via f1 before pausing the game since version 1.4 update has been released They've also improved the camera handling when reloading vehicles added the ability to reload all placeables using the alt plus p combo added the environment menu to change seasons weather including frost and snow and time Add a depth of field menu to allow blurring a foreign or foreground and or background. Add a defects menu to change color gradients, light blooming, and SSAO shadow adjustment. Added the size fun or size fun. Added sun size. There you go. Moon size and atmosphere refraction to sky menu. It's all fun. Add key bindings can now be changed in the game's key binding menu. Boom. Well, guys, that's going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. Get subscribed if you're new. Join the Go Ham fam. Make sure those notification bells are on as well. That way, you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. With that, hope you have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.